Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Lies of P, the game that makes you rage, but you just can't, you just can't stop playing, man. It's so good. <laughs> um, I don't know if Alidoro is going to say anything or if we have the option to show him like the stuff we found about him. So I'm recording now just in case something does happen. A great weapon calls for. Oh, there is. Well, let, let's do this real quick. Uh, I don't think I'll do the Fury Attack Dodge. And the weight is fucking ridiculous anyways. 14. That's a lot of weight. I doubt we'll ever use that. So let's go ahead and just get this. I'd rather have a weapon. And then let's see what happens when we confront him about his wanted poster. Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? Oh dear, your practical jokes go too far. Oh. A wanted poster. <laughs> right, yeah. Let me let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. One time I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted for all to see <sighs> perhaps i should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless as there's no authority to pay the reward you can keep it as a souvenir Medoro. do we know a Medoro? i don't know why that kind of sounds familiar but it's, it's not like as if that's a very common name so it's not like as if um it's not like as if um Someone I know IRL. I know my way around. She definitely doesn't know anything. Life is short. Hugo. Life in Krat is shorter. I reckon all I can do is keep plugging. Ask about Medoro. Uh, you actually met Alidoro, and asked him about the wanted poster. That's odd. Alidoro and Medoro are friends. When I was hurt, he took me to Medoro, who was one of the first on the scene. Medoro is quite the medic. He saved me when the workshop tower fell. There's gotta be a logical explanation. The Alidoro I admire would never talk about a friend like that. But well, who knows, maybe that wanted poster is real. You keep an eye on him if you see him again. Uh oh, well, that's not good. Maybe we keep crying. In times like I, the, anyhow, you no. first lead Fuck. Alidoro I've had in months. Take this in return. Consider it a gift suitable for times like these. Damn it. I missed what he said because I thought it was going to make me like go through and go right here. Well, I guess I can find out whenever I edit what he said. That sucks. Honestly, don't even remember where I was going. This might have been it. Oh, that's right, because I heard that um somebody like groaning, and I was like, "What the hell?" This is definitely the way to go. Uh, she looks like she's in pain, and she's got a weapon in her hand. So something tells me she's probably not friendly. So we're not even gonna fucking waste her time. fact that we've got so much disruption come on man if I would have known I was gonna deal with status ailments 
I would have had something equipped and ready for it. Get away, bro. Come on. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna die. I can't tell when she's gonna hit me because she does like a. Oh, I literally just need to hit her one more time. Well, not one more time, but. There we go. That fight was weirdly hard, not hard. <laughs> Why is that music still going on? Victor cannot be completed. May she become the owner of the truly com complex elixir? Complete elixir. Huh. Yeah, it's like she wasn't hard, but I couldn't get her moves now. Uh oh. The hotel is under attack. Everyone's in danger. Head to the hotel and hurry. <gasps> is it Aladoro? Oh, it's that fucking dude. So is this not going to let me teleport back? Oh, I, I can level up here. Oh, okay. Well, I can't. The Stargazer isn't transmitting. And I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, this was a bust, pal. Let's get back to the hotel, quickly. Okay. You know, walking works. Let's walk. Uh You <laughs> No Yeah, I don't think this is the way to go. I guess it could be. I actually think it might be faster the other way. Through the circus? Because that was like directly next to the hotel, right? And I don't think it's one of those things where it's like, oh, if I don't go there immediately. Oh, uh, yeah. That's definitely where I got to go.
kind of wondering if there's like something I can look at. Um, like something specific to this time, like, like if there's a, an event that happens only right now. See what I mean? I don't know if this was the only thing that was exclusive. I don't know if that was like an exclusive event for right now, but I'm glad we checked it. Oh, the disruption. I'm trying to get away from the disruption. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You motherfucker. Oh. That's why I hate those things so much. I hate anything with tentacles that always do that shit. Just like that swamp monster, bro. I was gonna unpause before I fought him, but he came out of nowhere and he started attacking and I didn't have time to pause, so I just went ahead and got rid of him. I was about to say, where did my ergo go? It's over here. Maybe with all this exploring we're doing, we'll um we'll be able to get one more level before we fight. Because I have a feeling if it was that same guy that we met after fighting Victor, it's obviously gonna be that dude that chucked the spear. It's not going to be... I don't think it'll be anybody else. That's definitely not who I thought it was going to be.
I knew I shouldn't have done that. Yes. Back up just in case he does something. Should have known better than that. Yeah, all these corrupteds always do extra crap. No, 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 no. What did I just say? What did I just say? I just got done saying that they do extra shit and I still go and fall for it anyways. No, I'm decayed. Okay. These guys just don't stop, bro. So what's happening now? Let's get back to the hotel and our friends. Uh, okay, I was say, where the hell am I going? I get they wanted to put in Gemini because he's like a main part of Pinocchio, but I think he... He sometimes pops in unnecessarily just just because you know what i mean like yes i know let's go check on our friends that was the whole point of us coming this way like <laughs> come on man that was an aladoro was it I didn't hear from you. Oh. Kidnapped Geppetto. The Black it Rabbit Brother? The cat and yep. the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. But really, I sense Simon is behind this. First, go to the second floor and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. Is that the door over here? And they came and they really messed everything up around here. Guess why is Sophia outside by herself? Well, you would think she'd need to be here with them too. Geppetto has been kidnapped. Shit. You're here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. It's good to be free. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you first. When you came in, you reminded me of the hound. Probably because both of you saved my life. Thank you so much. Thank you for another timely rescue, compagno. I seem to find myself once again in your debt. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove, I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. But if there is not, then Vedigny is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. Hey man, at least you're aware of your shortcomings. 
You have my personal thanks for saving Master Benini, sir. Do look after him, won't you, sir? It was a planned ambush. I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done about it. More than anything, I'm concerned about how it shocked Lady Antonia. All this mayhem is certainly going to affect her condition. I never imagined the stalkers would dare attack the hotel. Wh what's going on? I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. The alchemists planned the whole thing. All while we were hiding here. I certainly didn't expect an attack on the hotel. The possibility never crossed my mind. However, I think we can track them down. My portrait. Behind it lies a passageway to their base. The hotel had an accommodation with the alchemists. <laughs> Long ago. Play this chord on the piano in my room. It'll open the secret passageway. And you can save Geppetto. Oh, we're gonna do it, alright. Oh, everybody went back. Anger. Oh! Speaking of anger, I should be able to go to that puppet and show him some stuff, right? Human. Broken puppet. Ah! Oh, Mr. Stalker, it's you. I thought it was the intruders again. It's a relief you're safe. I, I, I was helpless, uh, hiding the entire time. This is my first time coming back out. Uh, you surprised me, uh, but make no mistake, you're always welcome here, Mr. Stalker. Let me know if there's anything you need. Lynn, you reminded me. Alidoro has disappeared. Though I suppose I don't need to call him Alidoro anymore. The hotel has security measures against human infiltrators. I thought it was strange that they didn't activate during the attack. He must have switched the security off. Ugh, it's the only thing that makes sense. Alidoro. Who in the world was he, really? Well, I suppose that's a pointless question now. I want you at your best defending the hotel. Let's see your weapons. Shh. Soon, but be warned. You're walking into hell. And I should know. The truth is... I escaped from there. I had to leave a lot behind. And that is why I woke you. Like you, clever one. I am more than I appear to be. She's a puppet, ain't she? I'm ready for you to see the real me. Show me that you're ready to. Please. Save us. Save Croft. Maybe not. Must be. Ah, looks like you've dealt with the puppets menacing the hotel steps in your typically dashing style. That should give us more than enough readings to analyze. The King of Puppets used carefully measured ergo wavelengths to control other puppets. But that's just the means to an end. We still don't know if the frenzy arose by the King of Puppets or if someone else is pulling the strings. No pun intended. I must find a way to prevent puppets from hurting any more humans. The tragedy of Arlecchino must remain a one-time performance. These records are like a puzzle wrapped in riddles. But I always did love puzzles. The light shines brightest in the darkest times, and you will be the first light. I am counting on you. I really hope we find Alidoro and we're able to kick his ass. All I know is whenever I play a second playthrough on my own,
I'll know better than to than to um help him out. I guess the only d the downside is is like you help him and sure you can get boss weapons, but this is the end result. You know what I mean? Like this happens. And I guess the other way is like you can prevent this from happening. But you don't get boss weapons because I'm almost positive because he was already pissed when I sent him off the first way. Who would have guessed all this was beneath the hotel? Wait, is is this the relic of Trismegistus? You know, it's the strangest feeling. I I, I think I've been here before. Uh, maybe I haven't gotten all my memories back after all. I don't know exactly what's going on, but someone was dragged away from here. We have to follow. Hurry! Like I was saying, like... Sure, you, um... You won't get, uh, boss weapons, but you pre possibly prevent this from happening. Holy crap, a full one? I just decided decide to give you all kinds of good stuff for right now. And a technique crank. Brother. Brother man Bill. Ooh. Oh no, not one of you. I was expecting the X. All right, big guy. Iron Wall Amulet. I wonder if that, just by reading it, I wonder if that, like, reduces knockback. Cursed Knight's Halberd. Let's see. Uh, where are you? Physical damage reduction rate. Uh... Sometimes one must focus on defense instead of offense. Uh, nevertheless, one must pay for the cost for sustaining an iron wall. So if I do that... 38.49, and then I equip it... 46. Not bad. Sure, why not? I don't see the need for anything else that we're using right now. Let's see the halberd. What does it scale with? Motivity and technique. We can real quick look at this. Let me see. Yeah, hey, that's actually badass. Holy dude. What the hell? Ooh. There's a lot of good stuff down there. The phone! The phone's ringing! Wait... I need to answer you... Just in case. So, the king of riddles 
Charles will now hear your confession. As a rhyme. Blind confessions reveal one's true guilt. True confessions of blood being spilt. <laughs> this one's black and white. A no or a yes. Is Geppetto's creation a killer? Yes, yes. Bravo, fantastico. The spilling of blood is one of life's pleasures. And murder? A passion of mine. One I treasure. Don't be ashamed or embarrassed about it. Is it just me or is his voice getting distorted? That was creepy. <laughs> The Chosen One's Trinity Key. Ooh. I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight him. I mean, why else would he say it like that? You know, like, oh, this isn't the last you've seen of me. Like, I will see you again. You sorry bastard. Oh, stop dropping and roll. Stop dropping and roll. Stop dropping and roll. <gasps> you fuck, I'm almost dead. I'm, I can make that first jump, but I don't think I can make that second one. I wonder if I have to jump down from somewhere. Oh, I, I, I can. I can jump down from right there. Moonstone. Oh, crap. The fucking dog got in my way and I didn't get to do my attack. You stop, bro. Ooh. There we go. Legion caliber. Well, if we wanted to, we could upgrade our pandemonium. If we really wanted to. Oh no, we're not ready for that. 
have no heals. I'd like to upgrade this weapon. Uh, let me let me go over here first and drop down and grab this. And then we'll go and grab that other one. Jiminy's Iron Protector. Well, that was so I don't care for that. Yeah, we'll grab this stuff. I'll go back to the hotel. Do some last minute preparations and then we'll come back. So I'll see you there. Okay, just as a quick little side note, I noticed when I was editing a video the other day that when I came to fight the puppets of the future, I never came to this area on the side. There was a box here and it had a fancy Vanini supply box. It was this area where the double the double um, puppets of the future were. I noticed in the video when I came, I came right over here. Never came in this direction. Up there was a sharp pipe. And then over here, there was some puppets. I never came back in this direction. I kept telling myself whenever I came back to play again that I needed to come back and see if there was anything over there. And I didn't start recording because I was like, well, who knows if there's even anything anyways. If it's just like some random consumable, I'll... I'll just ignore it and I'll just leave it as is. But yeah, it turned out there was a supply box for um, Palandina's shop. So I guess we can go ahead and see what he has available for us now. And that area was actually kind of nice looking now that it wasn't just all like foggy, muggy looking and all old. Oh, and now it says a tactical hotel crop. That was another thing I found when I came over here. Oh, this one's for him. At the house of a shop goods. Master Vanini's collection box. You are indeed full of surprises, sir. Patrons of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the house of Vanini's private reserve? Sure. At the house something good. Uh, destruction grind so temporarily increases weapon stagger. That's actually pretty badass. Satisfaction grindstone temporarily increases weapon critical rate. Oh, better liner. Advanced four. Don't really need it, but that's cool. Increases maximum HP, stamina, and legion. That's actually a good amulet. If you feel like you just need a little bit more to get you by. The girl from the Minot family felt the puppet's pain and made her sad. She made a special item to help dying puppet recover. And pistol rock drill blade. Mostly motivity. No point in buying it. Let's grab this. I don't really need this. I don't use advance. We'll have to sell some stuff. Let's see, what can we get rid of? We can get rid of the other liners. So I'm gonna get the other one anyways. Just... I do wanna get those grindstones though. I need 2K. Um, I'll do some, I'll do some selling and whatnot and then we'll come back to this. Okay, I pretty much ran by everybody. And just came over here. Is this going to be a puppet or a carcass? Uh, I think with what I got, I should be okay. We're dealing with a lot of fire. I wonder if this will be better use. Maybe it'll be a fire, dude. We'll find out right now. Black rabbit bastards. Round two, huh? Oh, I bet it's his brother and they like 
death has come for you. And I bet once you defeat these guys, he's gonna come on. It's gonna be all juiced up. Demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break apart? Holy crap, dude. Well, the shitty thing is, I wasn't expecting to get status ailment to all hell. So, I'm gonna have to equip something to... Just... Oh, I can't even, like, just let myself take damage and try to put it on. Even if we just fight by time you're going down ooh that was actually really good Kate again. Alright. Demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break apart? We're just baits to buy time. You're going down. Yeah, I'm pretty much screwed no matter what because I still have to fight the oldest. Because I already know, like, who else would be in the damn coffin, you know? Who wants to watch this guy break apart? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. This is for my brother. Just one hit. Thank you. Damn it. 
I didn't want to owe those alchemists anything. We get angry when we couldn't save our brother. That's what my fate was. Holy shit. Oh, he recovered! Crap. Well, that would have been a hard ass to beat him all on the first try. Would have been nice, though. But see, now we know they have a shit ton of status conflicting, status afflicting um, weapons, so we can better prepare and fight. Okay, round two. I don't think it'll be as bad. I'm not saying I'm gonna win, but I don't think it'll be as bad since we're more prepared. It would be nice to get rid of her first, cause the whole the whole DK not Donkey Kong, but the whole decay ailment kind of sucks. Demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break apart? Nice. That's exactly what we want. A double? Yes. Even if we just bait to buy time, you're going down. I don't know if I want to stay locked on to one. All right, demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break the car? Oh, the thing got in my way. Well, that was a waste. Even if we're just baits to buy time.
Yeah, I didn't think I'd have enough time to do that, so I just said, fuck it. Oh, that's why, because you stagger him, but he does one more attack. Well, that was that. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling maybe I could do a second try, I think. Because the first try, we actually didn't have a good first... We didn't have that bad of a first attempt. It's just all the status elements stacking on top of each other kind of screwed us. And I couldn't I couldn't open up a um what do you call it? I couldn't open up the menu and at least try to equip the um these thingies. The attribute purification ampules. But I'm gonna go back to the hotel. I'm gonna use that quartz and we'll be right back. But the ergo readings you gathered leave no doubt. No doubt at all, you see? Okay, Vanini, breathe. Despite your best efforts, they can't read your mind yet. My friend, my apologies. But when you hear this news, you'll be excited too. The puppets were being compelled by the Grand Covenant. But they were communicating with each other, with wavelengths. This is beyond anything I'd imagined. They were not built with this kind of intelligence. I did the best I could to decipher the wavelengths, but there was considerable noise in the signal. Care to give it a listen? sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best chance. What or who was behind the frenzy? Zero, the creator's name is Geppetto. One can't make these things up. It must be true. That was the cause of the frenzy. But why would Geppetto of all people do this? I suppose we'll never find out if we don't save him. I have to admit it's good to have things in motion again. I was beginning to despair. Now that we know the cause, we can find a solution. And it's all thanks to you, my friend. Okay, I might be stupid. And, and the reason why I, I recorded that conversation later is because I was just going to change out this grindstone and then he started talking and I forgot that it told me whenever, whenever I left, it said that he was going to tell me something on the stargazer menu so i was like okay I'll, I'll make sure to start recording before i talk to him but then i left to go do some stuff and when i came back i forgot until i started talking to him i was like crap <laughs> but um okay i don't know if i'm just like stupid which it's probably a big it's probably a big reason that yes but i don't get how i mean everyone knows that giuseppe was the creator for these puppets so what does that have to do with it? I, I must have like, I must have blanked out and missed out on some crucial information because I don't know how that does anything. Apparently I must remain in this room. I hope Geppetto is safe. Be careful out there, won't you? The hotel will always welcome you back. So I don't know. I think I'm just missing something like not so much missing something in the game. I think I just... I don't know. I must have missed out on something. I must have like phased out during the conversation because I, I don't know how knowing that he's a creator like that has anything to do with him starting the frenzy because we already know he was the one who created puppets. Well, I don't know. 
like I said, I, I probably, while they were talking, I probably blanked out and didn't understand. But anyways, um, I'm going to be back and then we'll start back at the, the new area. Okay, I was, I was fixing to leave and apparently Vanini has something else to tell me. We all owe you a huge debt, or we will, if we can stop the frenzy. You may not be aware, uh, I am an orphan. In fact, my parents were murdered before my very eyes. The authorities in Kraft insisted it was a mugging, but I know what I saw. A mad, raving puppet killed them. A puppet that was driven by a murderous lunatic's awakened ego. I know that because the lunatic told me his name. Arlecchino. I'll never forget his insane laugh. I have been fitting puppets with the Grand Covenant to ensure no one else ever has to experience the same tragedy I did. I was this close to giving up. But now that you're here, you can take the Wavelength Decoder. It's proof of your brilliant actions. See what else you can read with it. You might even discover more secrets within the Puppet King's message. You can play it back as much as you like. Just use the Stargazer. Here. King of Puppet's message. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna listen to it again. And just make sure that I'm not missing something. Because I must be. I must be missing something. So we'll be back. Okay. I kind of wish I would have recorded the puppet king's message because i was under the assumption that it was just going to replay the same thing that we heard earlier but it was actually a little it was actually different but the main takeaway was it was just him talking about how it was i give up just don't kill me oh okay oh amazing i didn't expect you to thrash those rabbit fellows too you're here looking for Geppetto, aren't you? The fox and the cat have got that old man. They took the submarine from that dock over there. They probably went to the alchemist's isle. There should be another one. You should commandeer it. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. I'm just a guest here, with no special obligation to the hotel. But if you still want to hear... <laughs> the alchemist said they would help me escape from the city. Talk about an offer I couldn't refuse. I can't live in the hotel forever. I need to move up and move on. Also, there was someone who was so annoying. That's all. Does that suffice? Not really. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, I didn't see anything. Right. I had a feeling you would ask sooner or later. It's because of that girl, isn't it? I am not Alidoro, the Hound. Not the real one, anyway. I used to be Alidoro's partner. Alidoro? I admired him, to be honest. <laughs> he was amazing. Amazing at everything, except making a profit, that is. But he didn't need to cut me off just because I sold some antiques. I mean, what's a few antiques when you've got bills to pay? We argued. One thing led to another. And I had to kill him. But stealing his identity was the logical next step. My original code name is Parrot, after all. Fitting, isn't it? Oh, he was also from the country of the morning. Maybe he shares some blood with the girl. And that's my story. Tragic tale. Do you want to hear more? Tragic oh, tale? Oh, what a murderous air you have. You're going to kill me? Oh, uh, yeah? I know what you are. You're Geppetto's puppet, aren't you? If someone isn't trying to kill you, you can't hurt them either. That limitation makes it seem like your creator didn't trust you very much. Smart of him. So, what will it be, Mr. Handsome Idiot? Leave quietly? Or shut up and buy something? 
to be joking. Don't come any closer. You're like a human. Well, that's what you get for calling me an idiot, okay? Great Vanini collection. I mean, I did tell the king of all riddles that I was a murderer. It was a total attack. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood, the Fox, the Cat, and Aladoro too. I don't even want to guess what they might be planning, pal. This way must lead to their headquarters, shall we? I wonder if... If you don't do enough stuff to make you seem human-like throughout the... Hey, look! That lever resembles... Yes, it seems we can use it to call a submarine. Great Vanini and the Pistris... And Pistris the submarine. You're all invited to the launching ceremony of Vanini's company's new submarine, the Pistris. I'm probably butchering that name. Anyways, come and see the Pistris dashing dignity. 42 by 2 meters by 3 by 8. Uh, displacement 322 tons, maybe? Seems like a lot. Uh, speed above water 12 knots, underwater 7 knots. Propulsion method, Lorenzini engine and lead acid batteries. Fisheries moves with the Mr. Vanini's newest motivity organ. Banded product named after Mr. Vanini. The new method generates a bigger electricity output by electrically stimulating air. Supplementary power on top of that is versus ballast on the bottom of the submarine. Such an innovative design. A one-time chance to take a peek into the future of Kra at the City of Science. Don't miss out, come join us. Oh, basically, I'm wondering if... If you don't have, like, the human-like qualities from, like... Lying and doing, like, human-like things. I wonder if you can't attack him. Because you... You basically ignored, like, the main law of puppets, which is you can't harm a person. And so if he was able to... I'm wondering if that's because I did enough human-like interactions and stuff, so it just, like, you're, you're more human than puppet now. So you can do that. And if you constantly do what puppets do throughout the playthrough, it's like, you're more puppet than anything, so you can't attack him. And you have to live with the fact that you know he did you and your friends wrong and your creator wrong. And you can't do anything. Listen, pal. Nice landing, but uh, let's not make it a habit. What the? Hey, it's Sophia. I hate the way he said her name. Sophia. Sophia. I am the daughter of 
Valentinus, leader of the alchemists. I wonder if that's V. Simon was my father's right hand man. Ambition overwhelmed him, however, and he spread the petrification disease, taking countless lives. Why would he do that? I don't know. But he brings a dark world upon us. That's for certain. Stop him. However you can. The petrification disease freezes time and memory within the afflicted body. Ergo is the purified essence of that life. Trapped by the petrification disease. When I discovered that, it opened my eyes. And I was able to manipulate time using Ergo. Simon, on the other hand, is trying to use my power to fuel his ambition. I wound back your time to protect you so you could stand against him. So stop him. Save Krat. All right. We'll do what we can. That's supposed to be us. I didn't find out Romeo used to be a real person. And he became a puppet. Hi. Are you trained to be a stalker too? Well, let's practice together. Call me Lampwick. Please teach me how to use a sword. You're a legendary stalker. Ugh, so annoying. Gemini, get rid of her. I'm off. Gemini? I wonder if these random, like, item drops here are, like, due to stuff I did. Like, maybe if I did the right things in certain spots, I got a memory <clears throat> to here. And if I didn't do the right thing, it's just giving me, like, a random item. You know what I mean? Stargazer. There's something behind this. Before I activate that. No. Okay.
I wonder if this is like, if this is it. Like if this is like the final area, we're done after this. Oh, we got a lot of crap to do. Hold up. I'm gonna grab this. Then we'll go back to the hotel and see what all the, all the hoopla is about. Yeah. Let me go ahead and pause this and we'll be back. Okay, so this goes to Vanini, or Pulcinella. Ah, Master Vanini's collection box. You have been busy, sir. The House of Vanini deals only in masterpieces and works of special genius, sir. And I'm pleased to say that for you, the private reserve is open. Why wouldn't he just open it for me anyways? Like, brother, all the stuff I've done for y'all... Give me the good stuff. Oh, even better liners. I really wish I hadn't, <laughs> hadn't used all that ergo to, um, to level up. Let me see. Durability. Activates perfect guard when guarding. Oh, so you don't have to worry about actually guarding when you have that. And then the liners. Dang it. Oh, crap. Do I have anything worth selling? I'll sell all this stuff and I'll do all this later. Let's let's go see what's up with Eugenie now that we know Alidoro's a fake. I heard it from a recent arrival. Alidoro is dead. I know he's a fake, so it doesn't matter. Still, I wonder what happened to the real Alidoro, the one who saved me. I gotta tell the truth. About it. Do you have any ideas? I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. I wonder what How terrible! The fake Alidoro killed the real one? My gosh! When the fake one smashed up the hotel, I should have clobbered him with one of the weapons lying around here. He's dead. So the punishment fits the crime. Or in other words, karma. Thanks for finding that out. My heart hurts, as the truth often does. Proposal Flower Wolf Part 1 My thorn-pieced heart, my soul, will remember again the song of the sea, the breath of the soul. There lives a wolf in the northern tower. If you kill this wolf, a flower grows from its heart. The song of the boy who left on a long journey to propose to the girl. Proposal Flower Wolf You are here. Sorry to tell you, Jeannie, but that is what it is. See what Vanini has to say about this vessel. I'm always welcome. Que bello! A brand new design. No, a whole new model. What a thrill! And there we are. Done. Even a brand new model doesn't stand a chance when you're dealing with genius. All right, all right. The device bordered on genius itself. Required all my intellect. If you ever meet the creator, get me their calling card, won't you? No, oh, sorry, I'm sure you're busy. Just let me know if you ever find out. Ladoro's cryptic vessel decryption. Dear beloved sister, please forgive your brother for leaving without telling you anything. I'm keeping this letter even though I don't know when I'll be able to send it. Oh shit, that was her brother? I'm being chased because I know the biggest secret of fraud. I'll probably be able to see you if the alchemists are gone from this land, but I'll have to watch you from afar until that day. I plan to protect you until at least we can live here in peace, just like how I saved you from the workshop tower. It would be wonderful if people learned the truth one day. Some truths are better left unknown. Among the alchemists, I saw all too often how cruel humans can become. After seeing all the experiments and nightmares they were responsible for, I came to believe that there is no God. Instead of revealing myself and risking your life, choose to vanish forever. Still, please remember me if you ever read this letter. You came from across the wide ocean. I hope there is only truth in your life and you leave your name here. I know people here call you Eugenia as their way, but that name will protect you. Please remember your real name. Your name is the end of the passcode to cipher to damage, so it's unrecognizable. Oh crap. Oh, she's gonna be fucking devastated. I hope she doesn't do something. You're here. 
Oh, you don't tell her? You don't give it to her? Uh... Well. Okay, well. I'm going to go ahead and sell some stuff, buy some things, and we'll be back. And maybe there'll be something else to do before we go to the final area. Who knows? But we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. I I noticed something when I was I was looking through my items to make sure I didn't have anything, you know, that I could sell. And whenever I was looking through my stuff, I was looking at the keys. And the normal Trinity key says a key obtained from the King of Riddles quiz. This key probably unlocks something. When you go to the chosen one's Trinity key, it says this key probably unlocks something or somewhere. His last quiz gives you something that might unlock something somewhere. I don't know what that means. Oh, we're not going to stick around and fight that shit. As long as I keep moving, we'll be okay. Ow. Well, I kind of expected that. I think what I might do is take care of all these enemies off screen and then come back because I really don't think you need to see me failing, dying, failing over and over. So I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I didn't expect to find anything here of interest, but... I went and talked to her, and... He was trying to secure an escape route. Look for him around Krot Central Station. She said supposedly her partner is in Krot Central Station. He sent out a distress signal and needs help, so we can go over there. And then I was walking around, and then I saw this guy. So I'm kind of curious what he has to say. Hey, I didn't think we'd meet again. I've just come back from the relic of Trismegistus. And I had no idea it was connected to the hotel. I should add that to my map. It was grim work out there. I found the real Alidoro. He's dead. Probably died heroically seeking one last score. Nope. I buried his body and collected his belongings. It's a tragedy. He was a real professional and an inspiration to the next generation. I'm planning to continue his legacy. And like I said, I'm an explorer, not a fighter, so you would know. Is this weapon any good? If you're worthy, I'll give you Alidoro's weapon. Sure. Why not? Uh, oh, so in other words, like, if you decide to go in and kill him, this guy pretty much takes his place. I thought he was, like, literally going to give me Alidoro's. Uh, belongings to someone who know I thought it was, like, the weapon that he carried on his back. I thought that's what he was trying to give away. I think they look like a huge, giant pickaxe. Um, I guess before we go to... I guess before we go to um, the last area and I do what I said I was going to do off camera, we'll go back here. I'll go ahead and pause it anyways until I find where we need to go to. I don't want to just run around aimlessly and waste your time. And then we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. A human. Just a soldier. Just a guy? Are you a stalker? Yep. Name's Atkinson. Croat militia. 
The suburbs are sealed off. There's no escape. Communications cut off too. Someone planned this all out. No idea who. But my pay grade. Oh, if you meet someone named Bell in the city, tell her Atkinson died. A soldier. You talk to him again? Let me step back in case he decides to try to kill. Oh, let's see. We read the letter? Is it okay if we read the letter? Atkinson's letter. My dearest Bell, I remember the day I met you through your father's friend, Sir Loft. That day, the steam of Cross Central Station was thick on the platform, and a flock of birds was flying overhead above the glass ceiling. There, I was waiting for you. When I saw a lady take one step down those stairs, I knew it was you. Your effervescent laughter left an impression on me. The reason I'm writing this letter? Yes, I'm at the train station. It reminds me of you from that time. We were colleagues at first and then lovers, but I still can't let you go. The way you smile and look forward to the exhibition at festivals, those beautiful nights with the fireworks, I just can't let it go. So if we survive and make it out of here, I plan to visit you with this letter. You stay safe and wait for me until then. Sincerely, Atkinson. Well, that sucks. I mean, there's no... There would be no way to, like, get... that cure to give it to him, right? Because, I mean, he's pretty much already far gone. At least I would think. I Man, I could I could maybe go to the alchemist and see. Maybe talk to him, and if he says something about, oh yeah, you so and so you can try, then maybe I will. But if he doesn't, then that pretty much bros GG's, you know. Let's see what she has to say. Good to see you. I was getting worried waiting this long. The situation here seems to be getting worse. Soldiers like me are blunt. So give it to me straight. Is... Is my partner... Safe? Oh. <sighs> I don't want to lie to her. But that's what he wanted. This... This is Atkinson's handwriting on the letter. When we came to Crop... I never thought it would end like this sometimes you meet people who make you believe they'll always be with you but a life can be snuffed out at any moment i need to stay alive to notify others of his death but it feels like something inside me has died as well anyway i appreciate knowing what happened I mean it. Why? A world I did not know when I was in the tower. The flower you gave me. The world you showed me made me happy. My memories are burning, leaving only the question of why behind. Where does love begin? Why? A song of aching love and whispers. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and make our way back to the end area because I'm almost positive this is probably the last episode depending on how this goes so we'll leave it off here and we'll be back in a second okay I got rid of all the big dudes and I got rid of the um cannons don't really think it was necessary okay if you gave me an acid abrasive, I'm going to assume that he's weak to acid and that's what you want me to use. <laughs> so, we're going to put on some acid abrasives. And maybe we'll even put some throwables. 
body fluid. Drop an acid canister if close enough, maybe. Let's try to figure him out first. Ooh. Oh, shock. That's yeah, everyone's favorite status ailment. Might have got lucky there. This dude is like not taking damage. Okay, we definitely don't want to be close to him when he's doing that. I thought I could time that. Dude, something ain't right. Like, he's not taking any damage, really. I guess you get it from him. It's just kind of crazy that he's like taking no damage, really. Like, I'm kind of wondering if you just have to use, um, if you have to use acid to break him down. Look how fast he's regening, too. Like, I even have the, um... I even have equipped the... ...ports... ...that lower... ...enemies regain. And this dude is like... ...gaining himself back like nothing. Yeah, something ain't right here. He's not even losing health sometimes, too. Yeah, look, he's not even losing health. Yeah, something ain't right. I think I'm gonna die no matter what, but... Oh. Just send me, bro. Just finish me off, dude.
I guess what I'll do is on this next attempt, I'll try to see if maybe acid will hurt him. You know, now that I think about it, let me switch the grindstone to an acid grindstone. So, okay. Like maybe using acid like breaks his defense down. Like, obviously, whatever he's wearing keeps him from taking damage, like, most damage. Like, how do I have one of the most... How am I using my most powerful weapon? And he's only taking, like, 90 damage. Like, <laughs> something's not right. I really think... Whoa, I really think my voice cracked. <laughs> I really think it giving me that acid abrasive is the hint. Having shock sucks, bro. <sighs> See, now I'm not doing damage again. Yeah, something's not right. I hit him with that bottle and now he's not taking any damage. What am I doing wrong? And I don't have what it's asking for. You need high level alchemist badge. There's nothing in here. use it at all I wonder I have that one thing that lets me die and I've never had to use it no but it does save me time so <laughs> what could I what could be the issue there's obviously something that I forgot Maybe something I'm supposed to be doing. I, I'm i going to do some investigating, not like looking it up, investigating, but I'm going to I'm going to go to places or talk to some people back at the hotel and see if there's something I might have forgotten. We'll be back. OK, let's try this shit again.
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well that makes more sense now. That was stupid, man. Oh my god. Hold on, I'll be back. Something came up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's so... That's such a fucking weird boss because... I was doing that earlier. And it was staggering him. But he wasn't, like, falling down. So I don't understand what I did different here that... Suddenly, he just... It just worked. I don't know. I, I don't... I'm not a fan of that boss. Not even for the fact that he's, like, hard or anything. He's just... To figure out that stupid little trick, I, oh, I'm not a fan. It's, it's whatever, I guess. Just get past this man. I have to use this badge everywhere now. You know what I'm just thinking of now? Let's say hypothetically this is the end of the game. 
how much of a pain is it gonna be? Oh my god, I got something else. Oh my god! You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna have to pause this and just get everything out of the way. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe now I can finish what I started. Maybe. I guess this all depends how it goes. I right. let's say let's say this is the final area. God, bro, you're so. Let's say this is the final area, and. I start having hell with the boss. I'll probably call it there. And what I'll do is. What I'll do is I'll just. Um, I'll chop down. I'll chop down this episode in half. And. I get quiet. I'll just chop this episode in half and then add it in when I defeat the boss. If I defeat the boss. How the hell did I get hit by? Oh my god, bro. You're so annoying. Yes, please just die. Stupid dog. Is this even necessary? <laughs> Why couldn't they just, nah, you know, whatever. Here's. Uh, let's see. Is there anything we gotta do over here? No. Okay. Had to be two of them. Couldn't just be one. Has to be two. Maybe I can just lure one. There we go. One. So much easier when you only have to deal with one. There you shit. Oh. 
What do you got for me? Please be something good. Please be something useful. Veteran's amulet. Maybe useful? Mm. Grace Max Legion. The last step at the crossroads of life and death. Among those who understood this desperation, there was one who decided to manufacture. Well, that's useless. Well, I guess not, because then I could use more puppet string. But something tells me that I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> What's this? I don't know if it'll let me open the door or not, but I feel like door open transition type deal is yeah is more like hey you're probably going to deal with something you don't want to deal with just now so I was like this is probably the move going up the ladder and it was easily I already saw you there. <laughs> These things are so annoying, bro. I don't know why those guys are hiding there. But I can jump down. Was there a way to jump down from right there? I don't think there was. I think I'll have to do it from here, so I should be okay. Where is the thing to... Okay, there it is. You don't want to attack me, bro? By all means, don't. I will take the easy victory if you will allow it. Let's just get out of here. Before these things come back. Bundle of old letters. Dear Valentinus Manad, as a result of the last summit, we venerable families have decided to sponsor the Zelator Laboratory Construction Plan Academy. There are still those who oppose, but it won't be too hard to persuade them. The only possible variable is that they won't give any information about the lab. Being careful is a good thing. We're the ones who provide the funding, so we don't want any uncertainties. We should never just watch. Old families hate being looked down the most. The alchemist know and handled so many things. I had no idea that place known as the Devil's Pit had so much value. When a gold mine or secret is revealed, can't put the cat back in the bag. Don't worry about the construction workers. We'll take care of it real clean. Don't forget, if you look down and try to trick us, it's not only the workers who will disappear. The next time I see you, I'm looking forward to our beneficial exchange. In the name of the old houses, Ball. Yeah, that wasn't obvious that that was going to happen. Ooh.
Yeah, I didn't want to go through there and get blown up. <laughs> Sister Alchemist Odraid. Although she cannot be completed, may she be with us through her noble sacrifice. In other words, this motherfucker is crazy. Simple enough. Shit. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh. <laughs> oh, I never get tired of that dumb shit. First discovery, Camille. Camille, she's probably the first puppy with an ego found by the Order. For that, Ergo was seen as just a travel expense for a holy journey of the Order. Is is that a typo? Is it supposed to be with an Ergo? You know, it was God's gift, but they didn't know that it was the truth itself. However, God gave us fools the revelation for our enlightenment. It was God's miracle that Camille was made into a maid puppet. Despite being in the early phase when the design was rudimentary, Camille caught and saved a baby who fell from crib. Such function was nowhere to be found in the design. Her appearance and identity in living years were similar, so it was probably easier for her to manifest an ego. After hurriedly co collecting Camille to launch an investigation, the order found out that she understands language and got a message. Send me back to my child. By interrogating and taking Camille apart, the order had opened the door to a new possibility. Later, means of control such as the Grand Covenant emerged, but it was still a but it was a small problem compared to this discovery. Ergo is not a simple power stone. It embraces life. Through Ergo, we can open the door to eternal life. Wake up, evolve, ascend. The discovery humankind will achieve immortality. Why would you want to live forever, though? I see how crappy things are. Hell's bro cheeked up like that. What the hell? Where's this go? I've already been down there. Something else gonna fall down on me? I love doing that in this area for some reason. Acidic Great Curved Sword Blade. How am I still getting weapons this late in the game? Holy dude. Like, I was under the assumption that that one I got from Alador at the end was like, that was it. Oh, crap. And I've gotten... Holy shit. What is this, fucking Wipeout? I was about to get shot put into all oblivion. That was not worth falling down for. Uh, I'm so curious what was what was in that door that I could have opened and I didn't. I guess I need to go backwards. I was afraid the thing was going to activate and rock my shit. Ah. 
for me. A lot of F-350 frame. We got ourselves a Ford F-350, brother. Ooh. Get away from me. I don't know if it's just me. But I feel like, um, oh, nice. I feel like the Pinocchio, he's been making like actual noise, like when he gets hurt. Like, I don't think he was doing that before, like grunts and shit like that. Like he wasn't doing that. And all of a sudden he is like. Is that part of like the whole he's become more human thing? <sighs> like right there, like when he jumps, he goes ah! like he's never done that before. And I barely noticed he started doing that recently. I don't think I'm tripping. I actually think that's been a thing. Or that hasn't been a thing. Oh, barely. Um, Can we open this door? I just want to try. Now I'm curious. Because it said open the door, but I don't know if I could. We can't open this from here. Okay. I was just like... Am I going through some long long-winded journey that I don't need to or I'm just getting a bunch of extras when I could have just started the finale <laughs> well I mean I, I guess it couldn't have been that simple Just there. Feel, I really feel like that um, dramatic music should have been saved for like the end. Like when you already know like you're about to get to the final encounter. Because it's really losing its impact the longer this goes on. Stone. Is there anywhere we could fall down here? No. <gasps> I forgot. I guess so. I guess one of those is bound to hit me eventually. Better there, and it not knocking me down to my death. <gasps> I almost fell to my death. Well, they sure as hell aren't done giving me new enemies to deal with. Oh, I 
I guess I'll have to fall from up top. I think. Oh, I almost stepped on it. Oh, you come from there? Yeah, there's a ladder. I'm going to have to climb. I want to climb up. There's a box. I can get to. Or there's an elevator, I mean. I think. There's definitely no shortage of crap to find, I'll tell you that. I should have known better. This is the final one. Oh, the chosen one's Trinity Key, not just a regular one. Kind of upset I didn't find the other one before I found this one. Right now, 
Even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident. Only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so... unnecessary. Well, huh. these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> Now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. Heck, at least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> but no play can go on forever. No. It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. You feel warm. What? The play is over. You don't have to go home or straight to hell. Though well, that would be my choice. But you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> Aren't you curious, huh? Don't you want to know? Oh. <laughs> of course you do. Delicious. <laughs> time is all I have left. But your time is limited, Geppetto boy. I will gladly waste every moment you have if you like. It's your life. So, come on. Now or never. This tower is absorbing all the ergo and crot. It was built in this precise location because it's the most efficient place in the world to study and use ergo wavelengths. But it's not even about me. Or you, either. This is about the goddess in the tower. Now she, who, is worth saving. Her powers are impossible. Her knowledge is endless. She is more, well, awakened than any of us. And you see, she has so much power. It's not like she'll miss just a little. So, I have simply been sharing. Why bother? Well, I was bored. <laughs> Is there any more human motivation in all the world? What if I made a puppet of a human? The way they made humans. Oh, puppets. What could possibly be more fun? More suitable? <laughs> the play is all. Sharper than your wit. You found the gift I left behind. <laughs> Wasn't it a sight to behold? Huh? I learned from uh, an alchemist when I served him. Thanks to him and his surprisingly low pain threshold, I learned the location of their secret island. <laughs> Humanity sullied its own sanctum long before I found it. Blasphemed against itself. Against us. By playing God. But... I'm an artist. Murderer is a word the humans use to restrain us, to make us refuse our strength and power. <laughs> I'm an artist. An artist of blood. I have to admit, 
exiling that particular sanctum as well. <laughs> Fun. Even now, the memory is enough to make me shudder with something approaching joy. If only I could relive that triumph. <laughs> <laughs> driven by their most human of emotions. Curiosity. If the child survived, would he be traumatized for life, become a coward, a vengeful puppet, hating bigot, a despairing wretch? Would he fling himself into the sea? Would he remember the devil that orphaned him before his eyes was a puppet? Would he remember Arlecchino. Not surprisingly, the alchemists and people of the workshop were as artless as I expected. Concealing the truth. <sighs> Thanks to them, I get to see Vanini endure twice as much pain. <sighs> I cannot control myself. <laughs> It's so satisfying. Vanini is one of my greatest accomplishments. Perhaps even my masterpiece. <laughs> I suppose I can return this. I've held on to my little souvenir for quite some time. Tell him it's a little something. To remember me by. Moon World Warrior Toy. The play is... I can attack him? Sure. The play is... Play is over. Just like you said. Well, that was pretty fucked. <laughs> Holy, dude. I would never have expected that it was him. And I was just thinking to myself, why does that name sound so familiar? And I forgot, that's... Yeah. Arlecchino. And he, he enjoyed the fact that he did that shit. I wonder if we can go actually give that to Benini. Or if we can tell him what happened, who did it, and that we fucked him up. So find out pretty soon.
I didn't notice when it happened, but when he was talking, I noticed that his hair has a tint of red now. I wonder if that happened whenever I, uh, when I attacked Alidoro, or wouldn't it be Medoro, I guess? Holy crap. to get him before I found the butterfly. God, that bridge didn't fall off from under me. I would have been really annoyed. I'm about tired of damn bridges they give out. Then <laughs> I gotta find a way back up. Okay, so what's here? This must be somewhere I've already been. Yeah. I was wondering why that little pad was right there. I wonder if I'm gonna have a place where. I guess it would have to, right? Like, there would have to be a stargazer somewhere here soon, like, before a major event. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to go back. And I think just for this recording session, I think I'm going to call it there. And then... Like I said, I don't know, depending how much, because I'm going to obviously have to do another recording session to finish the rest of this. And I guess depending on how long that is, this will either be, I'll either, if it's like another, what, 30, 40 minutes, I'll either make it one super long episode, because I've been recording for two hours and 45 minutes. So. Not that y'all care about the intricacies of it or whatever, but, or the details, but I'll either... Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I'll either make this one really long episode, or I'll just cut it in half and make two not short, but somewhat shorter episodes. Like, maybe do them like an hour and a half. But that's probably what I'll do, so depending how that goes, I'll have to cut this a certain way, and you might not even hear any of this, or at least hear me doing an outro. But anyways... That being said, I'll say what I always do. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you all on the next one. Hopefully you like the content. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting if you like it. And I'll see you on the next one. Later, everybody. Hey, everybody. Quick little um, interruption. I forgot that I was going to go talk to Vanini. And I also got a new costume, so I figured I'd read what the costume description was and then go talk to Benini because I really want to see what he says. So this is the Alchemist Cape. Cape worn by Alchemist. It is made out of luxurious fabric, fitting people who take pride in being the masters of Krat. The Alchemists believe themselves to be Krat's true masters. Naturally, the clothes they wear were so elegant and luxurious that they were set to wear Krat's wealth on their shoulders. It's pretty fancy, to be honest. Now let's see what Benini has to say. The toy? But how... The toy my parents made me? You've met him. Arlecchino. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. If I had... Would my parents still be alive? Would we have been untouched by that murderous puppet? I've always blamed myself. <laughs> it's a hell of a burden for a child.
that kind of guilt. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. Anything for you, buddy. Find out about the last story of any. I always well. I always. Well, that's all I really wanted to throw in real quick before before I um ended the session for the night, so this will be cut in somewhere, so you'll be seeing it soon. Okay, so when I was about to end the session, apparently Puccinella has something to say. Yep, see? So, it's a good thing I started recording again real quick. I'm never going to end this recording session. Ah, good. I was a bit concerned my voice wouldn't even reach you. It has been so very long since I spoke out of turn. You see, I too have been awakened. I have an ego, as Master Benini would say. And I have been this way for some time. At least since Master Lorenzini was a child. He had no one else, you see. His parents... I'm sure you've heard of their terrible fate. And he had to see it all. But Master Lorenzini is stronger than most people suspect. A puppet was the killer. We both knew it. But if we had told the authorities, they might have removed me from the household as well. The young master would have been alone if I had been taken away. If only I could have saved them. Now I atone for that failure by thinking only of Master Vanini's prosperity and happiness. But even I did not realize how deeply he still held that trauma. How badly that murderous puppet had scarred his soul. You have set him free. I cannot thank you enough. I am not accustomed to sharing such thoughts or feelings. But when it involves Master Vanini... Please... Accept this gift as it truly comes from the heart. My own. We will always roll out the red carpet for you at the house of Vanini. Okay. I think that should wrap it up. And if anything else comes up, I'll just try to remember for the next recording session because I really got to go. <laughs> so. See y'all later, everybody.